Are you studying for a test and are trying to figure out what the percent composition of titanium and chlorine would be in titanium chloride? Titanium 4 chloride, that is? Well, you come to the right place. I'm going to teach it to you in about, I don't know, two minutes. Take a look. Bam. So the first step is we're going to write down the elements we have, titanium and chlorine. Next is then to identify the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. If you don't see a subscript there, put in a 1. So there's 1 titanium, 4 chlorine. Then we're simply going to multiply it by the mass of each element. Those masses are always found on the periodic table. Titanium is 47.90. Chlorine is 35.45. So let's write that on in. So this is 47.90. This is 35.45. And then we're going to find the total mass of the element by simply multiplying this row on across. So the total mass of titanium in the compound is going to be 47.90 units of mass. And chlorine, therefore, is going to be uh, roughly about, you know, 140, I think it's 141.8, right? I think so, yeah. Okay, just had to double check that mentally. And then to find the total mass of the entire compound, we're simply just going to add this column on up. All right, so that's 189.70. And there you have it. That was the first step of the process to find the total mass of the compound. Now that we know the total mass, I'm going to add a column to this table to help find the percent. Take a look. Bam. So to find the mass percent of titanium, take the total mass of that titanium, 47.90, divided by the total mass of the compound. That's why we had to calculate the total mass first. Then simply multiply that by 100. All right. So the mass percent here of titanium is going to be roughly 25.25. What a cool number. Percent. Then same thing for chlorine. Take the total mass of that chlorine, 141.80, divided by the total mass of that entire compound, 189.70, and multiply it by 100 to get it in percentage terms, and that's simply going to be 74.75%. All right? And you can simply add these two percentages up just to check to make sure it equals 100, and then you'll be good. And by the way, who wouldn't be happier than you than getting out that on your next test? We've got a whole channel and a website coming out soon to help you out do just that. Stay tuned.